All right, you guys, I'm glad you joined us today on our first team meeting of 2018. Um, I just want to give you a little update on what our plans are for meetings. So we're going to try and meet, and we already have it on our calendars, the second Monday of every month. So like this month, the second Monday is Zoom, and then next month it'll be um, in person at Katie's house in Norman. And then the next month it'll be back on Zoom, and we'll just go back and forth. That way you only the meetings in person will only be once a month, I mean once every two months, and that way people from out of town can participate. Because there are people that are not from Norman area that wanna hang out. So hopefully we can do Zoom and this. So um, I'm just gonna go over, a, no I'm not, I'm waiting for jo Jody. So anyway, welcome, I'm glad you're here. Jody is gonna share with us. Um, Jody, she can tell you a little bit about herself hopefully, but she joined a while ago and then kinda took a little bit of a break and is back in it hardcore and has had some great successes and has done really well so i just wanted to sh her to share with you guys and katie wanted her to share what's working for her and what she's loving and what her goals are and we're going to learn something from jody because she's awesome all right jody i'm gonna jody is my mom jody's my mom jessica what Everybody can hear you when you talk, so you have to mute yourself. <laughs> That's my new recruit, you guys. Can everybody else hear me? Can you hear me, Katie? Yes. Okay. Everybody else can? Okay, I can't hear any of you. So that was my new recruit. She's my baby girl, and she's in Oregon, so I'm glad she got to join us. Katie called me last week, two weeks ago two weeks ago, I think now, and asked me if I could book a party in two hours. So I texted her back in 10 minutes and said I had my first one booked. In two hours, I had two more booked. And it was just talking to those people that said they wanted to have parties and do it. I'm gonna show you my schedule real quick cause so it's not like I'm not working. All of you, if you can see that. There's still room for Norwex parties in there, and I've done them. I had my party on the 27th, Colin want to cancel today. And I said, oh, but you'll miss out on the January specials. So she just moved it up two hours instead of canceling it. Sometimes it's just the way we word stuff. I don't beg them. And I told Katie, I don't, nobody ever tells me no. I know that sounds really cocky, but I don't take it as a no. It just means not yet. So. Um, I'm taking these four days off, so I haven't booked anything yesterday or today, but I still have February I'm going to fill up. I have, I still have one party for January I'm hoping to get on my schedule at the end of the month. And between my business supplies and two little parties, I'm already at almost 1200 for the month in sales, 11 something 1119 i think katie i'm not sure i don't remember but i want to show you what helped get me motivated just besides katie there is this little thing that came in our boxes today which is great and i know it looks overwhelming but it's really not i have sat and put my name on every catalog and order form i have i have my Hostess packets all ready to go, which I'm carrying with me. So if anybody asks about Norwex or asks what I'm doing now, I sit down and try to get them to book a party for me. I've reconnected with my previous clients from my first parties when I launched, because I signed up last January, and getting them excited about doing another party. And at this point, it's their benefit and I'm just rewording it that it's my benefit that they're gonna help me go farther and help them get free product. So the party I did uh, su Sunday was just a little one and the hostess was really sad because not everybody showed up, but family did. We still ended up having a $350 party and a booking. Her daughters got so excited that they, oh, if their mom hadn't have talked them out of it, I'm pretty sure I would have had my other two recruits, Katie. So that's something i'll be working on i'm just excited you guys norwex gives us so many business supplies to use this book you get a whole pamphlet of the norwex product information so i went through i don't know if you can see that you can't see it 
I went through and labeled all of my favorite products so I can flip through them. And at my party Sunday, for the first time, I set my product information out for them to look at. Um, I killed my printer this weekend, so I have to buy a new printer, but it is 10 years old, so that's a pretty good run, I guess. Um, and I print off those flyers at the beginning of the month, or I pay Katie to print them off for me because my ink is always out. And get those out to your customers. It doesn't hurt to ask. So 10 no's, you get one yes. So tell everybody about it. After talking to Katie, I just decided that it was my turn to share this stuff. I use it in my cleaning business, and I can't clean with anything else now except for an Enviro cloth and our Norwex products. So, and now with a special person in my life, I'm telling my household clients that they need to learn how to clean and have their own products in case I move away. So, <laughs> I'm taking my Norwex business with me, but they need to learn how to clean. So just stay excited. People get excited when you're excited and be nice. And no doesn't mean no. You just ignore them and ask them again next month. It's all good. So have fun while you're doing it. So Jody, what is your wording for all of those? Because you didn't have any, really any parties on the calendar. Um, so what did you say to those people when you messaged them? Really, I had no parties on my calendar except for my personal party every month to buy my business supplies. So the first person is an old friend and my landlord. And I messaged her and said, hey, I know, because these people all said that they would. So the first three people I messaged were people that had promised parties before and, and or not promised, but said they would and hadn't. So I texted her and said, hey, I've been challenged to book a party in two hours and she said yes so that first the 10 minute one was easy the second one i got my sister to host at the church because there's so many people that are interested in it and the third person um was one of my clients that i just said hey i need a favor i get something if i book these parties and i you know you fib katie did give me a book of catalogs for dating the first one in 10 minutes but I, you know, I, I don't know. I just get them excited and I just don't take no for an answer. If January doesn't work, I'm like, well, let's look at February and what, well, you know, without being snotty, I don't, I just try to keep them excited. So maybe it's, you know, the tone of your voice. And a lot of people are going to say, no, I can't do that. It's all good. And I, I don't know. It's just being comfortable with what you're going to say. So practice it. I talk to myself in the mirror all the time. Although they do say brilliant people do that. Just so you know, practice it in the mirror. Practice makes perfect. So the more times you say it to yourself, the more sure you are of what you're saying and people like confidence. So you fake it till you make it and I'm going to make it. You will too. All right, good. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. I think the keys for you are like to be, I like that you talked about how you're going to, you were excited because I've been doing this for two years and sometimes I'm not excited to yeah. be honest with you. So and I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but look, look how when you clean your phone with Norway, right? <laughs> then, I, I, then when I stop getting excited, I lose parties. I don't do well in sales. It's because it's all my attitude a lot of times. And yeah. It's always true, but it's my attitude and my excitement that rubs off. And so I think that's very valuable. Yeah, it's your self-confidence. And being nice to people builds your self-confidence and their self-confidence. Right, because so. right. it's good for you and it's good for them. And I yeah. like, too, that you called on people that you knew loved you and that you're like, hey, I need a favor. Like, let's do this together. Help me launch my business. Because I used to be afraid of doing that, and now I'm not. So, and it's been good. It's been helpful. So. Yeah. All right. Um, if you guys see, there should be a place for questions do you guys see the chat function if you if you see that chat function if you have a question you can type your question in there and then for every question you ask you'll be entered in to win some catalogs so don't forget that all right so i'm going to get to what i was going to talk about um katie and i have talked a lot about um this team and what we want it to look like um this last year we kind of were trying to figure out our own businesses and we really 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 this year want to be able to help you guys and to be able to be there for you and help you as you have questions and really kind of how to have a community because direct sales is awesome because a lot of times I, I run things on my own schedule I get to decide when I work I get to decide when I don't work I get to schedule all of that um, so sometimes it feels like you're alone so that's 
it's good to have be in control, but you're, we don't want you to feel alone. We get to be a team together. We get to be coworkers together, um, even though we're not right next to each other. And so we really want just a, a consistency of meetings like I talked about. That way you know when we're gonna meet, you know when you can get training, you know when you can show up. And we also just wanna have fun and hang out and get to know each other and um, just build a good team. Um, so let me figure out where I was going with that. Okay. So also, I was just going to talk to you too about um, this year, Norwex is saying it's the year of recruiting. So um, for a lot of you, that may not be what you're looking at. So don't feel if you see that pop up a lot that like you have to recruit. That's all Norwex is. Um, so if you're focusing on building parties, that's okay. Um, we want to serve you in that way. We want to fit you here. But if you are interested in building a team, Norwex has come out with a lot of awesome stuff. So Katie and I were able to go to leadership conference. And so I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of some of the awesome announcements that they came up with. And I'm going to do it real fast because um, we're going to get to some better training. But Norwex has come up with a new compensation plan. So as you're recruiting, they are giving you, um, it's called the business builder bonus. And I'm not going to go into details because it's a lot of details. But um, I could have made last year, if they had this in place, quite a significant more amount um, because of my recruiting and my team building. Um, so they're giving you ways they're wanting to you to be able to like replace a teacher's income or a nurse's income with Norwex. And so they're trying to build it in a way that you are able to do that. And so if you are wanting to really make an income and make a, like you have a full-time job with way less hours, um, Norex is making that available for you through um, recruiting. So um, we can talk about that later. Katie is going to send out a Google Doc when we're finished. Um, and so one of the questions is going to be, are you interested in being trained more with recruiting? And click yes on that if you are, because um, I don't want to bore you if you're not. Um, but you totally should um, because it's a great way to make some extra cash residual income. Um, another thing they have is the minute you promote to team coordinator, which is having three under you that place 250 in the same month that you do, you get a hundred dollar bonus. And then the next promotion is a hundred and fifty dollar bonus, including all the other bonuses you can start getting from the business builder bonus. So if you're thinking, man, so part of my why, why I'm doing Norex is I'm assuming not everyone, if you would if I would say like you can do Norex, but you can't make any money, all of us would be like, I'm out. I'm not interested. I love Norex. I want to tell people about it. But if I can't make money, I'm not going to do it. Um, so, sorry, I'm getting buzzed. Um, so if you're wanting to make some extra money, man, recruiting is a great way to do that. And if you think about your why you joined and if it's to make money and help your family out, why wouldn't we want to bless others with that? So um, that, that's been released. Let's see. Oh, and one more thing. They have announced that they have a research and development center coming out. So I don't know how many of you are concerned about chemicals. Raise your hand if that's one of your concerns. How many of us are, hopefully, some of us may not be there yet, um, but I tried to look at everybody. But they've come out with a research and development center where they are going to um, start, it's this huge building in Dallas, and if you come to leadership conference, you'll get to see it, where they're developing their own products in-house right there where they're researching their effectiveness right there. So it's not like all of a sudden, everything's gonna be shipped from another warehouse and it gets to our customers and it doesn't work like they said. It's all right there in house. They're gonna do some great quality control and they're gonna create some really great organic consumables. Um, so I feel like joining Norwex right now and pursuing a career in Norwex is the perfect time because they're gonna be creating products that the, the world is wanting. So I don't know if you've noticed this, but a lot of people are more interested in finding ways to reduce chemicals. That's big, that's in, that's in style right now. And so we get to be on the ground floor of that and create products and be selling products that people need and people want. So pursuing your career hardcore in Norwex right now is a great plan because I think products are going to be flying off the shelf soon. Um, and then you want other people to join you too, because they're going to love the products too. So those were the two main announcements um, at leadership. And I, I'm, I might call on Katie just a second to talk about how much she liked leadership conference. But national conference used to be in Minnesota or somewhere like that. And I was like, I'm not going. That's too far. I can't pay for my plane ticket. Um, I just didn't go. But now it's in Dallas. So I'm totally going because the training, the training I've gotten there is, has always been fantastic at, at conferences. And so we would love for all of you to join us. So we're going to do, I just wanted you to, I don't know if you guys can see this, but 
These are the statistics that Norix studied and came out with last year. So like if you consultants who attend national conference are on average seven times more productive, 11 times more likely to recruit, and 16, 16 times more likely to promote. Because conference gives you a big vision of what Norix is and who the big people are and how kind and how generous they are. Jody's coming. I mean, the people that run Norwex are honest, amazing people who love their consultants and want to provide you with training. And so catching that vision and getting specific trainings from these amazing leaders that know exactly what they're doing and work their way to the top. It's awesome. So to make that more possible for you, I don't know about if you're on Jace, Sabrina, I'm sorry, you're on Jace's team. So I'm not sure what she's planning on doing, but for our team, we're doing this and I can post it later. Um, helping you earn cash back towards conference. So if conference is on your radar, which it should be, um, you can earn cash back. So when you come to conference, when you attend, you get a $25 visa, no matter what, um, you can add more to your card. So every month that you submit at least a thousand dollars in sales, which hopefully you could do more than that, you'll get 10 more dollars added onto it for every recruit you add that engages in that month. And we're starting in February. So for each recruit you add that engages in that month, you get $10 more and $25 for each promotion. So that way I, I've been enough, but the first time I went, I'm like, I don't want to pay. I don't really know if it's going to be worth my investment. I know it is now cause I've been, so I know, so I'm totally paying it cause I know it'll be worth it. But for those of you who are new, uh, you may not know if the investment's worth it. So that you get an opportunity to kind of earn some money back and cut the costs of leadership. Kim, did you have a question? I don't huh? know how to do this. No. I'm, I'm, oh. can, you, can, you, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. You raised your hand. Did you have a question? No. Uh, well, I want to go, but how much is it? Do you know? Um, I need to look, but I think it's one sixty nine for now. Um, it it'll go up. until March first. So right now it's like an early bird special. Um, one sixty nine. There's also you could add the gala night, which is a really fancy, fun dinner. Um, I would suggest doing that. We're going to do that, but that's totally optional because it is another cost. But we're also um, going to split hotel rooms, which is super fun. So the more people that come, we can split that hotel. So we're going to try to make it cheaper. And then we can all drive down together, too. Sorry, I interrupted. You're fine. <laughs> okay. I've never done this before. Yeah. Okay, you're fine. Um, I'm going to mute you back, Kim. Um, but yes, leadership should be on your radar and hopefully you can recruit some people and help them along. And when it comes to recruiting, I just want you to know when you recruit, sometimes it's scary because you don't know what to do with them afterwards. You want them to enjoy Norwex and enjoy the benefits, but you're like, how do I train them? Um, we're working with Trista, um, our upline, like very top of the very top. She can't promote anymore because she's all the way at the top. Um, working with her on some specific ways that like, let's say Amy, you recruit someone next week and you're like, what do I do now? <laughs> She's on my team. All you have to do is we'll have the correct, we'll give you what to do with them by helping them maybe join a Facebook group or having a specific emails that you send out. So don't be afraid of recruiting because we're working on some tools to give you to make your job easier. So there's that. Um, Katie, am I missing anything? No, the only, the other thing they talked about that is going to be really awesome is they are coming out with a um app we've kind of talked about this a little bit the summer it right now yeah there, it's in like a beta right now right mm -hmm. and so that app is totally all of those messages you're trying to send to your host all of those um invitations or reminders it's pretty much like post my party for Norwex only. So it's a Norwex app that she can download, that you can download. You can see how many people are coming to the party. You can see um, what she said. You can see what's been ordered already. So it's totally going to change the game. Is there more on that, Jenna? No, I mean, that's it. They're, I mean, that's basically what it is. The invitations are in there already for them. Like, you don't have to create it really. Um, you don't have to, I mean, you might have to plug in some information, but you don't have to create anything. Uh, so it's, it's going to be really helpful in your hostess coaching because hostess coaching is key, but if you don't know what to do, then that's not fun. So I think it'll give you some things to do specifically. Yeah. And in the meantime, we will give you, um, some stuff that we have been working on that we give our hosts, but again, everything that we say, are you ready to move on Jenna? No, you're fine. Are you ready? It's, to it's just ready? almost nine. So I'm done. So you can move on. Um, Everything that we say, everything we do is 
obviously what works for us. So there's a ton of stuff out there. Norwex has a ton of stuff. They really make our job super easy because they're always giving us tools. Um, so what we say, if it feels awkward to you or you don't want to do it, then do what works for you. But obviously we're here to help you. Um, and we want to share what was successful for us. So what we're going to talk about tonight, um, each meeting, we're going to focus on a different thing that just has to do with our business just to make it easy for you guys for you guys to have confidence in what you're doing so what we're going to talk about tonight is getting bookings who here would like a little bit more on their calendar um, for parties so let's go over this there's a thing that norix came out with called the 422 has anybody heard of that or seen that in back office so you guys can shake your heads or smile if you want to it's okay um so what the 422 is, is four parties, four, um, two bookings from each party, and two recruiting talks at each party. That doesn't mean that you have to leave each party with a recruit, right? Um, but that's just saying you're just opening that conversation. And what that's really doing is just getting you comfortable to talk to people about why you do Norwex. I mean, a lot of times... It's just as simple as you tell somebody why you like Chick-fil-A so much. Like, obviously, you're going to tell them. So you might as well tell them about your job, right? A doctor wouldn't be like, I'm a doctor, but I don't have to talk to you about that. Don't come to me if you're sick. I don't want to talk to you, right? So it's just something that we're offering. So that 422, the way that they set that up is if you are a sales consultant and your goal is to become a TC, a team coordinator, then your calendar should look like four parties a month, two bookings at each party, and two recruit talks at each party, which is super easy because that's about one party a week, right? Um, and so they're really setting that up just for you to succeed and just kind of stay on track. So that's easy to be said, but how do you get those bookings, right? So first, let's talk about how to get bookings outside of the party. Obviously, the easiest way to get bookings is at a party. You want your host to get those rewards. I always say, um, Jenna needs at least one person to do this, but and saying that guarantees at least one person will do it. Um, but when I got confident with that, because <clears throat> at first I was scared no one would leave, do it, I've left one party where no one has booked, and who was there? Her mom and her grandma, right? So I'm going to leave that party with probably not a booking. Um, but every other party, especially if I do that host coaching, I'm going to leave with two or three bookings. So to book outside a party first, what you should do, obviously Facebook is a good just venue for talking to people. Always offer incentives. So I said this month, hey, first five people to say that they'll do a party in January gets a basic package on top of everything they're getting. And I knew five people aren't going to go to that, especially in my VIP page, my Facebook page, because a lot of those people either already have done a party or they're just ordering from me, right? But I say first five people so that I know maybe at least one person will do that. And you always want to do that a little bit higher, you know what I mean? Because just because I say five people, it doesn't mean five people are going to do it. But one person did. So that was one more booking on my calendar, which was great. Um, so always offer some kind of incentive, and it can be $30 on top of what they're already getting. It can be whatever you want, whatever you have. Norwex gives you a lot of stuff. I have some basic packages um, that they gave me from that sh uh, charcoal hand towel, right? And so it's already wrapped and pretty, and I'm going to give that to my host. Super easy. Um, always also talk to past hosts. Sorry, my daughter is about to come in. Talk to past hosts and past guests, right? So do that customer follow-up and see which ones maybe want to do a party. And it can even be, hey, how do you like your mop or whatever you would want to say to them about that, right? And then just let the conversation go from there. Say, hey, I really remember you wanted that mop. It's free for hosts in January. So it's just that customer follow-up. And even if they say no, that's okay. They're not mad at you. They're just saying, I don't want it, but they could be saying yes, so you don't want to miss that chance. Um, another thing you want to do is everybody know what their Frankie list is, especially if you're just starting out, or if you can go through that again. My Frankie list has changed because I've done this for a year and a half, 
And now I have friends who are just kind of now getting on the wagon and understanding what Norwex is. And so I can ask those again. So your Frankie list is your friends, relatives, what is it? Acquaintances, neighbors, kids, friends, and internet, right? Is that what it is? Um, so it's just kind of hitting every venue with that. And so always go back through those people, say, hey, this is what I'm offering on top of what Norex is offering. Um, and just go back through those. And you know what? Out of maybe 100 people, I guarantee you'll get at least one. And that's all you need because one party can go into 30 parties, right? Um, and then you can have your own party again, too. I'm going to probably have my own party in March because I do have all of those friends who still haven't really seen it aren't going to do a party themselves, but they'll come to my house and look just to be supportive of me. Right. And I do those host bash too, which I did last spring, which we can talk about again at another time where I just invite all of my hosts again to my house that have hosted before give away a ton of stuff. So I usually do that after I have collected a lot from Norwex so I can give it all away if they spend a certain amount of money. And I've gotten rebookings from hosts doing that too, that have already booked a party. Um, you can think of a, or you can tell them, hey, I'm doing parties a new way. Norix has new products. My party will look different than it did last time, and I'm super excited about this. Do you want to do one so you can see all the new stuff and the new way that I'm going to do this party? And just, just do it. Hey, real quick, Katie, I just want to chime in. So I, I got to a point where I, in about September, that I had didn't have enough bookings. Um, so always, like, decide how many bookings you want on your calendar. So I want eight. So when I look at my calendar, I don't have eight. I don't say, oh, well, I go back and do some of these things she said. But I do exactly what she said, where she said, um, I've done this when I really needed people. And it was true. I was doing Facebook parties new. I was doing home parties new. So I texted those people I knew who loved Norwex. I texted those people who I knew loved me. Um, and I said, hey, I'm doing a new way. I'm doing parties. I really would like to practice them. Would you, would you be willing to invite your friends over? I'd much rather do it in your home where I feel comfortable. Like I know you love Norwex. So can I practice this on you and your friends? Um, so even then, sometimes if you say, Hey, look at all the rewards, they might not be interested. But if you tell them like, I need help, which I did, like I, I wasn't, I wasn't taking advantage of them and I knew they loved me and be like, Hey, I need to practice this new way. It was the cards. And I got, four bookings on my calendar that month that I needed because I was down to four. And so don't be afraid to say like, Hey, I'm restarting my business. I kind of took a break, but I know I <laughs> my party again. Would you be willing to have me over? I'll help you on lots of free products. I'll give you a $30 shopping spree on top of that just for having me over. So don't be afraid to ask people to help you because all of us have at least one or two people, hopefully more that love you and want to help you or past customers or hosts that, love Norwex and would want to be like, sure, you can come over. This was great. I liked having you last time. So don't be afraid to ask the people to help you. And also just talk about what you're using. So if you guys are my friends on Facebook, you saw that I posted how to use that Enviral wand um, in your dryer. I posted a picture of me using the produce wash with our strawberries. And I had just posting that one person say, I need this. And one person say, I need this. And both of them are my friends. And I said, I will give it to you for free if you do a party because you're going to get so much product and I know that you want it. And it will just be really fun. And they've known that I've done Norwex since I started it. And they've never done a party or gone to one. One said, I'll think about it, but I'll go ahead and order. Again, like Jody said, that's not a no. And that's okay. That doesn't hurt my feelings, right? She's still ordered and she's still supporting it. And she's still getting Norwex in her home. And the other one said, yeah, I'll do a party. I just don't want to do it at my house. So we found another venue. A lot of times people are nervous to do parties at their house. So you can figure something else with that if you're good at Facebook parties or if you're willing to open your home up, whatever you can do. Or a lot of times I'll say, pick a buddy and you guys can do it together and you can split the rewards or whatever. Um, let me talk really quick about how to get bookings at parties and then we can, we're going to answer your questions at the end. Okay. But keep writing them. I see them coming up. So when you're at a party, and you're ready to get bookings, people do this a lot of different ways. Jenna even, and I even have kind of talked about different ways to do this. I, again, at the end of the party, I always say Jenna needs at least one person so she can get all of her goodies. And usually by then, one person raises their hand like, okay, I'll do it. Um, and then 
what we're what I'm gonna start doing is I bought these little cheap little um, you know lunch bags are like 30 cents at Walmart or Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna put inside of this a gift which is going to be an enviro or window cloth right because we get a ton of these but to them they don't have any so this is special because this is what we keep this is the chicken and the butter right and so they see that and they're like oh i already have one awesome so i'm just gonna that's super simple to give away to me and it looks big it's not a little sample and samples are okay but i like giving that big thing away um but sometimes if i run out of those, I'll give a sample of something, or I'll give one makeup cloth, and they're still happy with that too. So I'll put that inside of the bag. I'm going to put the host rewards inside of the bag, and I'm gonna put these new opportunity cards inside of the bag. So if you haven't seen these yet, what this is, is Norix has made it so easy for you to talk to someone about the opportunity. If you wanna um, have a team, the people who are most likely gonna sign up are going to be your host because they already love Norwex and they've already talked to their friends about it. So they've already done the hard part, right? So what these are, we don't have to go through them quickly, but it's just like little steps of what to do. So I'll put that in there too. Um, and then I always, if there's somebody super excited at a party, I'll even say like, Hey, have you thought about doing this job? Whatever. Um, but that's another thing. We'll talk about recruiting later. So to get, I will put, these little bags i'll put two to three up depending on how many people are at the party and i'll say hey first three people to grab a bag get what's inside of it and get to hold host a party and then i have purple bags which i think lucy took and drew on somewhere so i'll have to find this but i have a purple bag so it's act like this is purple and i'll say and if all of you grab this my host your host gets this purple bag so i'll say jenna gets this purple bag and there's some good stuff in there for her too so not all, real quick though, not all of you, you'll have like two bags up and you'll be like, if these two bags are taken and two people book a party, then my hostess, Jenna, yeah. gets this yeah. gift. So usually, unless there's more than 10 people there, you're probably just going to do two bags, right? Mm -hmm. Like if there's 15 people there, you can throw another bag in because with 15, you're probably going to get three bookings. And then what we talked about, which you could do this instead, because this is an easy way not to give um, product away or you can do it both I'm probably gonna do both because now I'm getting those two bookings with every party so I'm pretty confident in that and I want to grow those bookings right so I'm gonna say first two people to grab this get to go home with a prize everybody else look in the back of your catalog so these are little ten dollar bills that I'm gonna cut up right I'm gonna put it in the back of their catalog with their order form where the bundles are because that's where I want them to flip to get their order form because most people are going to order a bundle, right? Um, I'll say, when you host your party, grab this $10 bill and give it to me. I'm going to give that to Jenna, our host, and she, I'm going to add $10 to her um, rewards. So for everyone that gives me this $10, Jenna gets $10 to go to her rewards. I don't know if all of you can do that. You might break my bank or just make a silly little, you know, joke with it. But people are going to, I mean, they're there because they care about their friends right? They care about their friend more than they care about Norwex. And so they're going to say, especially if there's a mom or an aunt or a best friend there, they're going to say, oh, I totally want her to get that. And your host, tell them before if you do something like this, because if that were me, I'd talk to my friends and be like, you better give her that $10 bill because I'm competitive and I want that $10, right? And I would kind of pressure them into doing it. So always have some kind of incentive and you're always going to get bookings doing that. Mm -hmm. um, and be okay saying your host needs that one person. And when that person books, they know that they need that one person, right? They know that because I've said that at the party they booked from. And that's okay to say. Um, yeah, I want to chime in. Um, I, once I started saying, when I looked at the hostess rewards during my thing and I show how you earn hostess rewards, and I'm, I say for this like 550, that's an average party, she needs at least one booking. The minute I started saying that, I haven't had trouble getting a booking. Right. There's been a few parties where I feel like a little, oh, I don't want to say that. And then I don't, and then I don't well, get. And you get. You get so used to it, guys, especially with booking or recruiting, because you kind of get that thick skin that people are going to say no and it's not going to hurt your feelings. And so now even at checkout, which checkout is really, 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 really important, right? So 
what we do for checkout is we kind of walk away. I tell them I'm going to be in the kitchen or at this table. Um, so come over here to check out. I want to make sure, let's just act like this is an order form and I'm holding it up, right? I want to make sure everything on your order form. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Sorry. My connection went bad. I'm going to make sure everything on your order form is exactly what you need and it's not something I can save you money on. So that's what I tell them. But really what I'm saying is I want you to sit down with me so I can ask you if you want to do a party. And if I guarantee if they sit down with you and you say, do you want to do a party? Do you want to pick a date? Do you want one of those bags? Or do you want to give me that $10 bill? They're going to say, okay, or mm, not right now. And it doesn't hurt my feelings. But if you ask, I mean, I've gotten to the point where I'm going to ask grandma if she wants to host a party and she's going to say no, but I don't care because I'm going to ask every single person. I'm not going to leave grandma out just because she's grandma, right? But it's because it doesn't hurt my feelings and I know that I'm going to get a lot of parties doing that. So just kind of feel that encouragement that we're all getting those no's. Obviously, you're going to get more no's than yes, but you're going to get some yeses and those are what counts. And the no's are okay because they're still buying from you. They still want to join your Facebook page, which is great because maybe later on down the road, they will do a party or they're still going to order from you. Um, so always keep that connection too. So on your um, catalog, on the back of it, it's very important you have your number. It's very important if you have a Facebook page, you have that on there as well because people are going to join that. And that's how most of us get to contact with our people, right? Um, so we are going to put, we're in our, um, pure green team. We're going to start some files. So you're going to see later this week, a file that says booking tips. And it's kind of all of that in a nutshell. So don't panic if you heard all of that and it sounds overwhelming because we're going to have it for you. And again, whatever works for you is good too. Um, okay. So that's really it on bookings. We're going to go to Angela. She's one of these nine Katie crooms over here. Um, and she is going to talk to us just kind of about her goals, her motivation, kind of like her reflection on Norwex and why she's sticking with it. So go girl. Oh, hold on. We need to unmute you. Can you yeah. unmute? I'm trying. Where's she at? There she is. Got me. Go. Okay. You're good. Okay. So a few things I've learned from tonight is set this thing down. So I'm not doing this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and my phone is hot. I, I'm learning. See, so every chance you can find something you can take away. And so even if it's some simple, um, I have not done a party. Oh gosh, it's been way too long. I, it's not that I didn't want to. It's just I got away from it. The holidays, you know, a thousand kids go back to school. Everybody's busy. So I, it's really helpful to me and motivating to me to have my friends reach out in like Katie and Jenna. I see Jenna at the mall and we chat for a minute. It's not like we're, you know, um, having these big in-depth conversations about Norwex, but it's like, oh yeah, you know what? I love this stuff. I use it every day. Every single day I grab something of Norwex. And so talking to people, talking to my friends about it, it's helped me get re-energized. And you get, well, I do want to share this. I mean, my heart is environmentalism and getting chemicals out of your life is just a basic thing that we can all do every day. It's very simple. And recycling those plastic water bottles. <laughs> so there's just simple things we can do that can have an impact in the long term. I know so many people that are dealing with cancer right now and, and I'm, I'm watching that and just, it's sad. And every little thing you can do that can help get those chemicals out is going to, you know, impact you in the long run or your children really. And that's what I think about every day is the kids out there. So, you know, s simple stuff that can motivate you, just find that and then, and go with it. Um, you know, I haven't booked a party yet, but I've reached out to several people. I've got a party open, so I've got several people that I've reached out to, and every single one of them is going to order something. And it's not huge stuff, but it's it's something that gets me motivated to go, oh, I can go ahead and ask that other person, too, that I, oh, what about them? You know, go back through my list and stuff. So it's motivating. I sub a lot up at the school, at my daughter's school, and I had a catalog in my purse, and one of the other teachers were there and I just said, Hey, have 
have you heard about this? Well, lo and behold, they had heard about it and they were interested in it. So, so you know, it's just simple stuff. I, if you have not tried that shea butter and avocado cream, I keep a bottle of that in my purse. It is fantastic, especially with everybody washing their hands, trying to get away from the flu and all the different bugs out there. Having that out, I pulled that out and somebody's like, hey, I've seen that. What, what's Norwex? You're cutting out. So just, oh, am I? Yeah. But help us share the mission and, you know, keep going. Did that work? Can you hear me? Kind of. Give me yeah. a thumbs up, Jenna. Yes. Got it. Um, anyway, so it's just stuff like that. So I don't know if that's really motivating for everybody. I think everybody's got their own little thing that we can do, even if it's just taking care of ourselves. Um, but if you look at this opportunity as a way to take care of ourselves financially, emotionally, physically, chemically, <laughs> then you can um, you know, keep it going and keep motivated with it. Even if you haven't picked it up or done anything in months, I've, I've put in orders every other month for the last few and it's been enough, but it keeps me thinking about it and keeps me you know, wanting to share. So I don't know if that's, you know, again, everybody's motivations, but it's something to think about. So there's my two cents worth. That's good. Thank you. Well, and that, yeah. also you saying that you just use it. So guys, that's stuff that we use. It's yeah. not like, you know, we work at Target and we're just like, oh yeah, I'm going to pull this cereal out of my purse because I got it at Target. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's stuff that we use and we know that that works. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of stuff, which is awesome. Yeah. I went through just because yeah. I'm crazy and went through and counted in the catalog and we have over 150 products. So there is something for everyone. They yeah. just don't know it yet and they won't know it unless you're telling them. So again, just kind of get that mindset of, I love this. Why would I not tell people about it? Right. And I'm going to be able to give it to them for free, which is awesome. Right. And I want to segue real quick because we need to wrap it up because it's way later than we planned because um, we have apparently have lots of words. Um, but I think it's so like what she, they both kind of shared too about how like you have to find, and I used to be like, I'm not cheesy. I'm not super emotional. I'm like, give me the facts, tell me what to do and I'll do it. Don't motivate me. <laughs> I just have my own motivation, but I've been doing Norx for two years and some days I need motivation. And so <laughs> I have to tap into, it's not like every day I'm like, woohoo, I love Normax. It's so much fun. I want to do all of it. I want to sit down and enter these orders. It's so much fun. Like, it's not always like that. So I have to, you have to figure out what your why is and it's important to remember it. And if it changes, that's okay. But let me show you my whys real quick. One of them is to provide financially for my family. Um, we, it's not like we're loaded. We don't have tons of money. Um, having extra cash for us is a big blessing. And so sometimes I may not feel like going somewhere, but I'm like, I, I have a job. This is my job and I'm going to go do it and I'm going to do it well. So sometimes I have to treat it like a job and that's okay. Um, but then I have, my other motivation is, um, thinking about all the people I try to take myself back to two years ago before I used Norex, how much I loved it how thankful I was for it when I used it the first time, how awesome I have. Sometimes I forget because it's like that all the time, how amazing Norwex is. So I have to remind myself of those things. And then my other why is chemicals. And so like if you do the research, it's scary how much stuff is in our products that's hurting us and it's hurting our kids. It's hurting our friends' kids. And all it takes is us to tell them, I have something better. I have something that works better. I have something that's going to save you money, but it's not going to, cause endocrine disrupting in you and your near husband and in your kids. Like those things cause early puberty, sperm problems, <laughs> breast cancer, all kinds of ridiculous things that we have answers for. Um, and so I want to share those things too. And so when you find yourself being like, uh, it feels heavy. It feels like a lot. I kind of want to sit here and do nothing. <laughs> Remind yourself of those whys. And also I do with this, I'm able to do this full time. And so every once in a while when I'm like, I just don't want to do anything. I go back to my why, like I get all summer off. I spend all summer with my kids. I don't have to go to work. I don't have to ask off for vacation. I can take all of December off and I still make decent money. Um, so figure out why your why is and preach it to yourself. And then that will overflow into your love of the products and you'll be able to sell better and book parties better. And that's my two cents. Oh, and I'll, I want to say this too real quick. Another motivation is I want to help, you want to help people. I want to 
be kind to people. I want to make relationships where I get to, sometimes I meet hosts and they become team members. I get to invest in them and talk to them and help them. And so um, that's another motivating factor for recruiting. You get to help people, which is always fun. Okay, I'm done. Boom. Okay, let's go through questions really quick. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do, we have everybody's name, right, Jenna? We're going to do giveaways on the Facebook page just so we can be mindful of your time, okay? But everybody here is in that giveaway. We just want to go through your questions super quick. Okay, Amy. Feel free to type more questions if you have more. Yeah. Amy said, how do you handle someone who booked at a party to help the host? Like, keep moving the party back. Okay, Amy. What I've been doing is I let them kind of see my calendar, but I tell them, hey, your party's going to be a lot better, um, or you're, you want to do your party one to three weeks from now, and that's the best time to do it. And I say, these are the dates I can do it. So I'm kind of in control of that, because if I give them four dates, there's no way they're busy all four dates, right? And I'll give them my four top dates, um, I don't really like to do parties on Saturday and Sunday, but if they say those don't work, I'm like, you know what? I do have this special Saturday, but it's in two weeks. Can you do that? And kind of telling them, hey, this is when you need to do your party. And that's helped a lot. But you know what? People are going to not do their party sometimes, and that's okay. I kind of took December off. So in October, I was booking parties for January, which sounds crazy, and I lost about half of them. So I had to redo. So I'm up to six parties now, but I had two at the beginning of the month um, because a lot of them went away. And that's okay. You that Sometimes that happens, which is fine. Um, and so if you're in control of your calendar, they're really going to be like, okay, I can do that. And that's what I did a party or went to a party booked from Jenna and Jenna goes, okay, your party wants to be in two weeks. Let's do this date. And I was like, okay. And didn't even think about it, you know? And I was like, okay, that's when I'm doing my party. So don't give them a lot of options. I think. I think, um, I think she's talking to you about moving. They keep moving the date. Um, I think it's important to always do some customer follow-up with your people that booked at least. Okay, do the two days after, two weeks after, two months after, because developing a relationship with a host is key to, instead, if you wait two months to when their party is, and you're like, hey, your party's in two weeks, mm -hmm. they don't have any relationship with you, they can easily check out. But if I'm checking up on them, asking how they're doing, trying to remember something about them, caring about them, and checking, then they're more likely to not move it. And if they do move it, I, I'll say, hey, man, that's okay. I really want you to get a lot of rewards. I want it to work best for you. So I have these other dates. What can you choose? Um, so I feel like if when I'm coming out of a place of like, hey, I really want you to get lots of free stuff. I want it to work best for you. I understand that that's not working. Let's find a date that does work and then proceed like it's going to happen. I don't know if that helps. And then like Katie said, you're going to lose some and that's okay. Yeah. But okay. make sure you're following up. The other Amy kind of said the same, our other Amy. Mm -hmm. She said, if someone cancels and you try to contact them and reschedule, they're not responding. What do you do? It's kind of just a wash. Really what you do is say that it's okay because it does hurt and you're like, oh, that's frustrating. Why are they doing that? That's rude. Why would you not even just say no? All the time, I'm like, you can text me back and just say no and that's okay. I'm a human. Um, but a lot of times I have to tell myself, you know what? I don't want to do a party for someone who doesn't want to have a party because you know what, you want them to be excited. But a lot of that is the host coaching, which we're going to give you guys a lot of um, resources on that. Every time that I have stayed up to date with my host, they've had a good party. Anytime that I've slacked on that, it's been who knows what's going to happen or they've canceled. So Amy, we'll give you guys more of that. Um... Jody, on average, how much free do you give away at a party in addition to host gifts? So Jody, what I'm doing there, if I'm giving that $10 to my host at the end, um, that's just coming out of my commission. So I'm not really giving that away. I used to give free shipping to a lot of people and that was coming out of my commission. So that is really just coming out of commission. And it doesn't have to be $10. You can put $5 there if you're not comfortable doing that. Get something that's in your stock because you know Norox is giving you stuff. And the more that you grow your team, Norox gives you a ton of shopping spree money. 
all the time. You'll just have it sitting there. So you can use that shopping spree money too. So the more that your, your parties are full and the more that you are growing your team, that's not coming out of your pocket really at all. Um, one of me <laughs> said, remind them three to five, good party. Yeah. So I always, I mean, it's really just that post coaching. So I will post to a little card that I made. That's like a checklist. Um, and there's a video on YouTube that Norix has that says, thank you for doing a party. And it kind of tells them what to do and makes it relaxing. So it is that host coaching, but also you don't want to overwhelm them. Um, and we'll get into how to coach your host, maybe our next meeting. Yes. Um, so that'll be good. Does anybody else have any more questions? I want to answer Jody's questions on how much free stuff do you give away? Like, I definitely think you need to spend money to make money sometimes. Um, but at the very beginning when I didn't have a ton of free product, I did shopping sprees. So when you booked a party with me, I didn't have anything to give them because I didn't have anything at that point. I say now looking back, I wish I would have bought a few little small things to give them. Um, but when I didn't shopping sprees are a great way to offer and then buy like little things to hand out at the party. You don't have to do a lot, but the more you can do, the more successful it'll be. But don't be afraid to be like, Hey, I don't have anything to give you right now, but I do, you could do, you could do those same dollars and be like, anyone that books a party will get this $20 thing to use at their party. And, and for you, that's not $20 out of your pocket. That's whatever 65% is. And Angela, do you remember this? This is how I got Angela to book a party. I didn't have a lot of stuff. What was it, Angela? I don't even remember. <laughs> I was holding up, maybe it was a makeup cloth. I don't even know. I was holding it up. It was the um, dust mitt. The dust I mitt. So I kind of like showed him and dusted. And I was like, and you know what? First person to say they want to do a party can go home with this right now. And, uh, and I was like, like woo! And she took it. And I was like, oh my gosh, it worked. <laughs> so even if it's something that you have, um, Cause we can always say, okay. I, and that's what I did. I went home and I was like, crap, I gave away my dustman. I got to order one. Um, and so you can do stuff like that. And that's always a good way to get bookings too. And it's kind of fun to be like, come on, who's going to do it. And if you have a competitive person in the wreck, Oh, that's me. I want that. Right. So that's always good too. Just giving, I mean, the more you give away also, the more they see like, man, Norix gives them a lot of stuff. So that's also a recruiting seed because you can tell your host, I got all of this from Norwex and it was really great right. and I'm getting paid to get it. Right. And sometimes I've, I figured out when I've started giving out gifts, they're more willing to keep their party because they have this gift I gave them hanging out at their house. So they're like, I can't back out because I have this hand drawing thing. So I have to have a party. So giving them gifts helps them hold their party too. So it feels like you're giving stuff away and you're losing money, but it pays itself back. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Anybody else have anything? Jody Maybe. does. Jody does. No. Oh, she's saying bye. I'm gonna unmute anybody. Bye. bye. Oh, what girls? How do you how do you ask questions? Oh, it's over here on the chat. Did you have a question? You can just chime in. No, I well, I was just real confused. I was trying to find it. It's like, how do I do this? Do you see chat anywhere? Well, I you have to scoot it over. Okay. Are you on your phone? Hit tap down at the bottom, honey. Down where those little dots are, tap, and then it'll say chat. Okay. I hope you guys come well, to the meeting next month. It's going to be the second Monday of the month. I'm going to Panama next month. I was going to share that with you guys. So I get to go to Panama, me and my husband together, and don't have to pay a thing. Um, so oh, I see. And she found it. So anyway, ah. I would love, Katie's going to be with me on the trip next year. So I would love for you guys to join me too. So I'll get to come back and share how awesome that was. And we'll be on at Katie's on the 12th. Yeah. If you guys want to jump off, you can, if you want to ask more questions, I'm willing to stay on. Um, but know that we can be done and you can go um, finish your night. I'm willing to stay on a little bit more. Sabrina said, how do you handle checkout at a table? Several guests are sitting there together. You ask each person individually about booking, receiving. Um, I, do, I do. I ask them all individually. So that helps a little bit when you say, I'm going to go over to this table. And it's really, when you talk about how really it's important for them to go over their order form with you, you kind of get more of that one-on-one -on -one time with them. And I haven't had a ton of people come over. And that's helped from those people just like slapping their order down and walking away 
and me being like, okay, who's Sabrina? I need to talk to you, you know. Um, so just at the beginning or whenever you're handing out those order forms or ready for them to order, if you make it sound important for them to sit down with you so you can save them money, they're going to sit down with you so that you can do that. Does that answer your question? Sabrina, sorry, does that answer your uh, question, Sabrina? I, I think so. I mean, I usually try to do that. Um, I just recently had a party where I said, I'm going to be at the table and you're ready to come check out and, you know, see me. I'll uh, go over your uh, order form with you. Um, but it also ended up that several of the guests themselves wanted to be a bit more comfortable. And so I have like three or four people sitting around me filling out order forms and just chit chatting. And at least for me personally, it's a little awkward to try and um, I'm still trying to get comfortable with asking those, uh, right. booking and recruiting questions uh, with everyone. And I do better if it's just one on one, but when there's more people sitting there, it feels intimidating to me, I guess. Yeah. So. Well, and I totally get that. And again, it's just the practice. The more that you ask, the more you're going to feel comfortable. So I will, if I have three people sitting there with me, I'll be like, oh, let me see your order. Are you ready? Here's what you got. Oh, you're going to love that. She's going to love this. And I kind of just bring them all in to the conversation. And I'm like, you guys are all, how do you all know each other? You're all neighbors. You're all friends. One of you really needs to do a party so all of you can get the more on your list. Which one of you is going to do it? And then I kind of make that a joke. And then when I hand say, I say, all right, Sabrina, here's your um, receipt. Do you want to do a party? I have these dates right here and that will be great. And sometimes her friends are like, do it, you know? And so it's, I don't, I would see that almost as, uh, oh, this will be easy. They're all here together. Maybe I can get one of them to do a party. Cause you know what? I'll be like, I bet they'll come. They're here with you right now. And they'll be like, yeah, I'll come. And so I guarantee if you have a group of people staying together, one of them will do a party because the rest of them will talk her into it. So that's actually a good thing, too. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Right. You guys see my lip balm? Do you like it? I do. I have the, what is this? Coconut, pineapple coconut? Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? All right. Hey, I'm going to talk about Emily's question. She's asking, do you make business hours for yourself? When I was active a few months back, I felt like I allowed it to consume me and then I dropped it all for a month. Am I making sense? Yes. So my husband's walking in. I used to be that way and I'm trying to work on it. So like I had multiple people, Kim was one of them messaging me and calling me today while the kids were at home and used to, I'd be like, Oh, I've got to hop on that. I've got to fix that. I, what, I want to solve it quickly, but I've decided I'm not working during those hours. So I ignore it. Um, so I've had, I, I do now I set like, this is the hour I'm going to sit down for an hour and do customer follow-up. And then when I'm finished with that hour, I put it away and I say, I'm not going to do Norwex until this specific time. And it's hard to do at first. Cause you're like, I want to succeed. I want to do well, but you also don't want to be overwhelmed and not be able to do it well. Cause you're so overwhelmed. And so I say for sure, set business hours for yourself. And sometimes like I will text people if it's someone that, sorry, I'm getting a cramp on my foot. Um, someone that I know well enough, I'll be like, Hey, I don't really work when I'm home with my kids. So I'll get with you in the morning. Um, yeah. I'll just send that quick text out. Um, and I did that today. So just finding those times. And what I've done is like, if my kids are around, sometimes I have to, but most of the time I try to organize my life to where when they're not around or not very many of them around, I, uh, those are work hours. And then I ignore, and I've just started doing that. And it's been two years, but I ignore people until it's time to work again. And that's been good for me because I can stop thinking about it because I, I don't have to think, oh, oh, am I supposed to respond? Should I respond? I'm like, I don't respond. That's I don't do that right now. And it's been like this. It's not stressful because I just know those are my hours. Yeah. So, yes, I do. Well, and I found myself, if I give myself that hour that's in, not interrupted by anything and it's Norwex, I'm more productive in that hour than I am my 10 minutes here, 10 minutes with laundry, 10 minutes back here, 10 minutes cooking. Um, and I'll even like, I'll have a host or a team member text me and it's okay to say, you know what? I'm busy right now. I can't get to that right now. Here's when I can text you back. Does that work for you? So if your host is saying, Hey, this person is asking blah, 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 blah. Their party's not right then. So you're not giving them all of your attention. You can say, I just said a while ago, my host asked if I could post something in her Facebook page. And I said, I'm about to jump on a meeting. I can do it tomorrow or you can do it. Here's what you can say. 
And so you're kind of just giving them that rain too, which is great. But not too are going to say that was mean, right. you know. And I think too, like, especially if people that may be thinking about the business, mm -hmm. if you explain to them, like, Hey, I don't work during those hours. It doesn't seem as overwhelming to them either. Like, Oh, she's with her kids. So, she, so if I joined, I could be with my kids too and not feel like I was on the phone all the time. And so giving them like, this is what it should look like is I think good for recruiting too. For sure. And that's also good for those hosts that are asking all of those questions that are constantly talking to you about it. That's a recruit right so we're thinking like before like oh this is going to be a good party they're going to have a lot of people because they're really working on it that's when you tell them after their party hey your party hit 750 you had three bookings do you want to do this because you were really good at it you made my job easy right so also be looking at that for growing your team as those people who won't leave you alone that means that they're good at this and they can do it so anybody else have anything I want to leave one thing and then we're going to can get off. But like, I, I just did my first party since like the middle of November the other day, cause I took off for a long time. And I remember like, I've been watching all these videos, planning on doing all these new things. And I show up and like two people are there. Her house is really dirty. No one really orders very much. And I had all this stuff planned. So also realize that like not every party is going to be perfect. And Katie said something like it kind of pops that bubble of those perfect parties that they have on those videos and when you watch those you're like oh that's what it's going to look like when I show up and it doesn't always and so don't be discouraged by parties that don't look okay because the next party hit a thousand and I got two bookings so just keep on going do your best be kind love those people and then leave and it's okay and then move on to your next party so don't be discouraged if you have all these big plans and you show up and it's like no one comes and everyone's discouraged so don't get discouraged Yep. All right, guys, thanks for hopping on with us. Our next meeting will be the 12th. Jenna will be fresh with a tan from Panama to tell us about her trip. It's going to be at my house in Norman. I live just in the middle of Norman right off the highway, so it'll be super easy. And that will be great because we all get to see each other and hang out. Um, so